Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Nightlights, the full release version on Steam. We're gonna be playing Sunday in this video, and it looks like we'll be able to kill the Night Blights, which I'm really excited about. So, let's go ahead and get started. Time to fight back. Ooh, there are glow sticks all over the floor. Collect glow sticks for ammo so you can shoot. The blights come in waves, and there are several types, so be on your guard. Kill them all before 7 a.m. to win. What is this? Do I have to collect the glow stick? How do I get it? Oh, I just walk over it. Okay. Yeah, sure. Get these three right away. Well, let me get this one, too. I like all the different colors. Blue, orange, green, yellow. We are full up! How do we find them? Guys, this is kind of... kind of spooky! What?! <laughs> Achievement unlocked! Confirmed kill! Well, we used up a... we used up a glow stick there. Do I need to get more? Do they respawn? Light attracts single shots. Uh, single shot. Okay, so there are three different types, and those take two shots to kill. Guys, this is awesome. Whoa! No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message. Who could be calling? It's a night blind, everybody! Come on, I need to look for glow sticks up here. Ooh, there's one. It's good, 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 good. Yes, yes, yes. Take this one. Okay. Maybe we can go back in the Blight Cave for some. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. Wow, I did not last long at all. Look at that. They overwhelmed me. Crawlers will slowly stalk you, then kill you quickly. So yeah, these are the, um... These are the different types of night lights that I was talking about, um, at the beginning of part one. Oh, you can turn it off. Ooh. Okay. And light attracts them. I got it. Is that? I thought I heard something. Okay, yeah, there's no glow sticks in here. I think they're just, they're all upstairs, I think. I'm gonna get these. It's, for some reason, it's harder to climb the stairs in this mode. A little strange. Okay, good, you can hold more than four. Hey there! You see him? <laughs> That's so much fun, man. That is good. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message. Uh, hey, Murky. Uh, I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, I hope everything's going well. Uh, I just want to let you know, Vala and I were thinking about going camping soon, and it'd be great if you could come along. I know it's not really your thing, but, uh, we really need you to come camping with us, uh, instead of whatever it is that you do. <laughs> uh, we go camping all the time, and sometimes very close to where you live. Okay, so wrap it up, dude. It'd be great if you could make it out this time. Uh, alright. Uh, see you soon. Bye. Bye? Wow. Pushy. <sighs> do I have to go close the garage door? <laughs> oh, I can't jump up. I'm weighed down by my blight gun. Ooh, a red glow stick. I like. Hell was that? The hell you say? All right, let's get this one over here. 
Oh, I can't. I'm maxed out at five. Ooh, ooh, we got one. We got one on the prowl right here. Hey! Ooh! Where you going, bud? Come here! I wanna kill you! <laughs> they do respawn. Kill them all. Okay. I heard them. They were close. Achievement unlocked. Murderer. That's a that's a fake achievement. It's a fake one. That's cool! Oops. How do you close the... Got a lot of red. Hey! No, come back here. I see you. Hey! Woo! <laughs> Where'd he go? That's right, eat it! <laughs> oh man. I'm hearing them everywhere. Where are they? Woo! So they come out of those. Ooh. Dude. Ooh. He took two shots. Dude, I gotta get more glow sticks. Shut up. <laughs> this is fun. Ooh. Hey. Any glow sticks in here? Okay, I'm out. I'm out of ammo. Oh no. Oh no. I need to get one. Where? I need to get one. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Okay. Oh man! Oh, I walked right into that one. I, I was like, I'm gonna go upstairs and look around for them because they weren't on my current floor. That was fun though. Night blights walking around are extremely dangerous. Thank you for the pro tip. Wow. I made it like halfway, 3.30. That's like halfway to 7 a.m. So I, th I think with a bit more practice I can I can do it. Alright guys, here we go. Another attempt for Sunday. Three green glow sticks in a row. Nice. So I think I'm gonna try something a little different this time. I'm gonna try to stay on the move and always have Five glow sticks. <laughs> At least that's the goal. I'm gonna always be hunting for ammo. So, let's see. Let me go up here and see if there's anything around. Ugh. I think I figured out why this takes longer in this mode to, to go up the stairs there. I think it's because um, your jump is actually inhibited in this mode. You can't jump quite as high, and that's probably so you can't camp the blights <laughs> up on the furniture. At least that's what I'm guessing. All right, looks like there's nothing up here. Um, I guess I'm gonna go downstairs. Well, I guess they're all here. Let's go check out the phone. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message. Hello? Hello, hello? <laughs> Uh, I think I have the wrong number. Uh, alright. Good night. 
And <laughs> so the first time I showed that in my videos, um, there's like three glow sticks around here, so I'm just gonna stick around. Uh, the first time I showed that, uh, <laughs> a lot of people were like, eh, it's a phone guy, right? It's a phone guy from Final Fantasy. I don't think they realized that it was me doing the voice acting. Hi. Hey. You. <laughs> Shot him in the back. Ooh. <laughs> he scared me. I didn't see him. Damn, there's one right here. This door opened. Dude. I got an achievement. For killing 50. Blight genocide. Okay. This is not good. If I run into a brute, I am screwed. So I'm going back into the, uh, garage. Hoping there's one here. Two. Two. I have two. There's a third one. Oh, I can't believe there's stamina on Sunday. That is just so mean. Oh, what is this? It's all this graffiti that they have. Come on, man. What? There's a trap. Dude, we have to just... We have to just camp this. We can't, and we can't go anywhere near that. We can't go anywhere near that corner, or that, that present, rather. I'm gonna have to just camp this corner. I've got five, this is as good as it's gonna get, I think. Oh, The tension is killing me. I wonder if I can shoot him in the box. I don't wanna try though, I'll try that some other time. We just gotta wait out the clock, I think. They're probably looking for me right now. Oh, man. I really wanna shoot the box. I don't know why, it's just really, it's really bothering me. Sunday failed! Defeat the blights before 7 a.m. to earn one star. Oh. Sunday fail. So so even though I lasted until 7 a.m., I didn't defeat enough of them. So you have to actively hunt them. You you can't just like survive. You have to That makes sense. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll go hunt them then. <laughs> Ooh, I got an achievement for that. I killed two at once. Let's listen to a phone call. It's no called Double Trouble, the achievement. Please leave a message. That was, that was backwards. I wonder what it said. Okay. Oh. So yeah, I haven't been up the stairs yet. Ooh, come here. Golly, come here. Where you going? Hey! Look at those shoulders. Does he think he's buff or something? Been working out. Golly. Another one over there, another one over there. Good, 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 good. Where are they? Didn't they come in the garage? There's another one. Oh, that's the one that I saw earlier. Where are they? <laughs> what? No! Where'd they go? I made it to the last wave again. I couldn't find them. <sighs> I guess it's just... It's that last wave. It's like you got, you gotta find their spawn point and make sure they're all dead. All right, I guess we'll try again. Wow. Oh my God, give it a rest, dude. It'd be great if you could make it out this time. Uh, There's a couple right. phone calls that I haven't heard yet. There are a couple that 
Um, I haven't heard it all. I've heard that one like three or four times. Okay, got a green glow stick here. So I guess, I guess I understand it now because I've failed twice from not killing the blights. So it's like you gotta keep track of what's been opened and what hasn't. So that you know which spot to go to for the last wave. Makes sense. So this wardrobe hasn't been opened yet. Hi. <laughs> I like that first time you shoot him and he's just like, <laughs> But then he's like, I'm not dead yet. Let's say it sounded close. I only have two glow sticks. Heard another wardrobe, so that could be any number of them. That achievement came up again. Murderer! Oh, they look so upset. All right, are they over here? Did they come out of this? I don't see him. Okay, gotta make sure I have enough ammo. Where'd they go? Go downstairs, I guess. Oh, oh, I see him up here. That was close. Almost just let him roam free. Hey. Crap. There was one behind him, wasn't there? No? I thought I heard... So they've come out of the fridge, they've come through here, so we're done with the kitchen, basically. From what I can tell, anyway. There's one of them up there. That's good, I need to go down to the... basement. Ah, there we go. They've come through the garage. Uh, have they come out of the basement yet? It seems like they have. Uh, there we go. Ooh, that... Wow. Wow, that was close. Holy shit. Here we go. Get this one, and this one. Oh, and there's two more down here! Wow. Hi. You brute? He is. Okay, I'm gonna go get these two now. And then I think for the last wave, we have a limited amount of time to get there. So I'm not sure... Possibly the attic? I'm guessing it seems like they came out of the vent down here. I'm not really sure. I hear you. I saw them come down the stairs just now. Yeah, trying to run away. I saw you. Here we go. Okay, what's left? Have they come down the fireplace yet? I'm not sure. They haven't come, they haven't come out of here yet. They haven't come out of this wardrobe either. So I'm keeping an eye on things. I have defeated you! Yes! Sunday complete! You successfully survived the week! Nightblight's defeated by 4.09 a.m. Wow, okay. So I guess I just killed enough of them. I like the animation. Survival mode unlocked. VHS 2 available in free play. And I got two achievements. One, I think it was called Shoot'em Up Sunday, and the other one was, um... 
I don't know what the other one was. 18 stars, I think. So yeah, let's check out that VHS 2. Nice. So yeah, you do just go straight to three stars on Sunday. Aw, poor Night Blight. He's all bandaged up there. Survival mode. Survive as long as you can. Increasing difficulty. Get a high score. We've unlocked it, guys. <laughs> well, this is the back cover of the book. Night Blights began as a student project I created as a free game for my portfolio. Due to the positive response, the game's development was continued and with the help of my friend Dominic from Trapdoor Games, it has become a much more professional game. I would like to thank every person who supported this title and I look forward to making more games that I hope you enjoy in the future. Hot Cross. Thanks to John Harshly Critical Wolf for voicing various awesome answer machine messages. Well, thank you for making a great game, Gary. <laughs> I like the little doodles there. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Let me go to free play. I guess I guess um, we've pretty much done most things for the game. Um, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to unlock that 21 star tape. Um, I might just be like, hey, uh, if you want to see that, you should buy the game and try to unlock it yourself. Oh, wow, how'd I know? Blight Kong? Okay, this is it. We're, I don't know how I knew it was going to be there, but I did. Uh, we're going to take this straight to the cinema. Um, I think I might do one more video on like survival mode, but I don't think I'm going to try to unlock the last VHS tape. At least not on camera. I think that I think I think that some things need to be, you know, reserved for something for you to experience on your own. And I firmly believe that um, you should definitely support this developer by buying the game. But then you know that's kind of a position I've always held. It's not a favoritism thing or anything. Um, I've I've never really been one to show 100% of everything on camera for a game. I mean, I've done that for a couple, but not for many. Anyway, let's watch it. intimidating blight. Look at him. He's up there at the top of the Empire State Building swatting at planes. Oh, it's funny. So, uh, some people... I like how this one just fell out. The other one shot out of it like a rocket. I, I think some people uh, assumed from this one that maybe they kind of revealed something of a story, but I think they're just unlockables, like cool little unlockable things. That you can uh, you can put in for some kind of reward, you know. And I think that that's cool. Anyway, um, yeah. So I guess I guess I'll try my hand at survival. And um, other than that, I think we're pretty much done with night blights. So hope you enjoyed. I think that Sunday was definitely the highlight of the game. I might as well just go ahead and wrap up my thoughts here, um, since survival mode is just going to be kind of a you know, time attack sort of thing. We've pretty much experienced the game. Um, I think this is terrific. I think that it's terrific as a Survive the Night game. I think this is the most content-rich Survive the Night game I've played. I've played, uh, you know, Sophie's Curse, Dark Knight, if you can even count that one. Uh, Emily wants to play Wick, you know, obviously the Five Nights at Freddy's series. And I think that this one has, like, the most to it of any of the ones that I've played. I've put, like, five hours into this game. And, um, you know, it, every day is different. You know, it, it's a far cry from other games like Sophie's Curse, where it's just the same thing over and over and over again. So I know, uh, but just not to, not to get off on something too tangential, but I did upload a Sophie's Curse video, and I played, like, the first four hours. And then I played some more on my own, just to see if it was any different, and it was just the same thing over and over again. It didn't didn't get any different, you just winded the things and there was no variety to it. But this is how you properly design a survive the night game if you ask me. There's something new on every day, there's a new challenge that makes you alter your strategy because these games are all about the gameplay. I know for some reason everyone tries to be spooky scary horror with these games, I don't understand why. 
I guess just because Five Nights at Freddy's, the source material for the time management system was that way. But uh, it really, I mean, for me, I play these games for the gameplay. I think it's fun, you know, developing strategies and ways to, to manage your time. I think it's just a lot of fun. There's a great challenge to it. And um, I don't know. I think that this game really did it well. I think that the difficulty curve was great. Uh, it didn't get too hard. I didn't feel too overwhelmed uh at any point i did feel challenged though and that's good you know you don't want you don't want to feel too frustrated by these games and some of the five nights at freddy's games did that to me like five nights at freddy's 2 i i still maintain is the hardest one of the series it, it, in terms of just like you have to kind of get it down to a very calculated science otherwise you lose with this, you still have kind of the freedom to develop your own path, I feel like, and uh, do things kind of the way you want to do. You have, like, a choice of how you want to do things, and I like that. Um, you know, and uh, I'm trying to think of what else to say. I think that for the Steam version of this game, I know a lot of people have been commenting confused about whether or not this is a new version of the game that's way different from the free one. It is. <laughs> I think it has, like more than enough content to warrant the $5 price tag compared to the free version of Game Jolt. Um, I mean, Thursday and Friday are completely different. There's two new days, Saturday and Sunday, and as you can see, those are completely different from the rest of the week. Uh, there's a survival mode, there's a free play mode with unlockable VHS tapes. Like, I don't know, I mean, there's there's new types of lights, there's the new air vent uh, system, the basement, the attic, like, there's just, there was so much that was added in order to make this worth, you know, money on Steam. I think that that's great. A lot of games, not naming any names, but a lot of games that were formerly free on IndieDB or Game Jolt are literally just copied and pasted onto Steam for money. I've seen it happen with some of the games that I've played on this channel that were free formerly. They are now for sale on Steam for money and they are the same game. Again, you know, not gonna say anything specific, but like, this game does it right and uh, yeah, I don't know, just a lot of positive things to say about it. And just for the record, I know that Boogeyman was the first one to hit like mega popular status, but this was the first Survive the Night game to kind of take 3D uh, environment and navigation into account. Um, it was the first one to take you out of the Five Nights at Freddy's chair and make you move around. <laughs> so yeah, um, nothing but positive things to say. And um, I really think that this game deserves to be supported. So I rarely ask you, you know, to download the game if you want to support the developer uh, more than more than once at least. But I said it in part one. I'll say it again here at the end. Uh, the download link is in the description. And yeah, it's a fun game, honestly. And um, yeah, and if you're curious about what that 21 star VHS tape is, I mean, I don't know, you might be able to find it on YouTube, but you could, you could just play it yourself. <laughs> I, I'm certainly not going to uh, spend a couple more hours just to do another video on that. So with all that said, um, really enjoyed the game and we'll do one more video on survival mode and then we'll wrap it up. I'll see you guys later. Think critically.